Adrian, got to start by saying this has been yet again another successful event for uh, the collaboration between WNT and Open Mind, hasn't it, here at Training 2000? Yes, for sure. This is the third time we've done this type of event um, here at Training 2000. We're keen to uh, develop the, uh, the support that we can offer to educational establishments. And how many people would you say have attended here over the, t uh, the two days? I know, I know we're still only halfway through, but... We are expecting in the order of 50 to 60 people. There are four sessions um, with around 15 delegates on each session. What's the key message? What are you trying to put across? The key message is the, 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 uh, the partnership between Open Mind and WNT in terms of using this new strategy of circle segment milling. Now, we, we know a lot about Hypermill uh, from Open Mind. We also know a lot about the machine tool involved here from DMG Mori. I'd like to learn more about the, the actual cutting tool side of this. Tell us about the tools that you've actually produced for this process, Adrian. Okay, the tools themselves are essentially solid carbide end mills, um, but they've been developed specifically for the Open Mind software, for the Hypermill software, um, in collaboration with Open Mind. The, the uh, tools themselves are basically solid carbide end mills with fairly typical um, coatings and so on, but very, very specific geometries. And the whole idea is to reduce cycle times whilst maintaining surface finish. Uh, how do you achieve both? Yeah, that's exactly the, the, the concept. Um, the way it's achieved is by uh, a combination of the software and the tools, but the tools are developed so that they essentially mimic a very, very large diameter ball-nosed cutter. Um, this gives you the opportunity to dramatically increase standover and stepovers, um, which has the effect of hugely reducing cycle times. Just explain that in a little bit more detail then. So the, the big diameter, what do you mean and how, how big a diameter? Uh, anything from 12 millimetres to 3,000 millimetres um, diameter. Now, clearly, you're not going to have a three, mil three metre diameter ball nosed end mill, but the cutting edge of the tool has a segment with that size radius on it. So, are these actual barrel tools that you're actually producing then, Adrian? They are, and some of the tools in the range are a standard barrel milling cutter, but the key to this is the tapered barrel milling cutter. They're the ones that give this dramatic improvement in, uh, in cycle time. And I noticed a couple in your presentation, you talked about the lens tool and the oval tool. They're for different operations, are they? Yeah, very much so. The oval tool is very much in, uh, is used for kind of vertical wall applications, whereas the lens type is more for flat surfaces, horizontal surfaces. And another word, or another a set of words you used in your presentation was circle segment milling. Just describe what that is. Circle segment milling is essentially the, uh, the, the strategy that's developed by OpenMind to allow um, a five axis machine tool to utilize all five axes simultaneously to give a flat surface. And it's the combination of the uh, software and the cutting tool geometry that permits that flat surface to be produced whilst moving all five axes. And I also thought it was quite candid of you uh, in your presentation to actually mention the fact that that Hypermill was the clever part of this process. So does therefore that mean that you could use anybody's cutting tool to produce what we're doing here? No, the tools are very, very specifically designed to work with the Open Mind software. Um, Open Mind developed this strategy. Um, all we've done is produce a range of solid carbide tools to suit their strategy and their programming. But essentially, the tools are solid carbide end mills. And does it mean then, based on that then, that they're not really a lot more money than a normal solid carbide end mill? No, absolutely not. They are, um, there's, there's a bit more grinding in them, um, but basically they are broadly similar in cost to a standard carbide end mill. And I was talking to Carl from Open Mind, and he mentioned actually that they're still using the same tools that they were at the last event, so they don't wear either. No, I think this is, this is a big thing that we've seen and, and, and possibly is a, a side effect of the strategy. Because the tools utilise more of the cutting edge, rather than concentrating the wear in one very, very small part of the cutting edge, it's spread right the way along the cutting edge of the tool. So it has a big effect on tool life, and we've seen dramatic improvements in tool life. Now, admittedly, uh, and I'm sure you'll agree with this, it's not for everybody because it depends on the type of parts that you're doing. You mentioned again in, in your presentation about mould and dye industry, stuff like that. Can you just uh, kind of repeat that for our viewers as to where this really fits? It's very much for people who are producing surfaces. So anyone that's uh, machining blisks, blades, turbines, mould and dye, anything where you know, currently they're using ball nose cutters to scan a part to death, you know, that's very much where these tools are suited for. 
And when it comes to expertise, WNT are right at the front of that, aren't you? you did, again, I, I keep coming back to your presentation, but you mentioned that 32 of your, I think, 40 employees are actually time-served engineers. That, that, that's quite a good number, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It, our, our guys, our team of guys, we've got 32 guys out on the road full-time in the UK and Ireland. Um, their job is out there supporting our end-user customers. They need to be engineers. You know, we don't profess to know everything, but we need to at least understand what our customers are doing. And based on the success of this event and other events, I can assume that we'll be seeing a lot more days like this happening uh, this year in 2018 from WNT and Open Mind. Yeah, I would say so. This, this is the third event that we've done of this type now. Um, as you can see, they're really well attended. It, it's, it's something that I think has, has provoked real interest within our customer base. So um, we've been quite specific over who we've been inviting. We've been inviting people where the, the tools are relevant to what they do. So we've got a lot of customers out there that have that kind of relevance.